Coinbase shares skyrocketing almost 20% since rival crypto exchange, since the uh, filed bit for its rival crypto exchange FTX filed for bankruptcy. Last week, they also announced 60 job cuts, but called them isolated and targeted. Joining us now is Owen Lau. He's a senior analyst at Oppenheimer. Owen, great to have you on the show. So is FTX's collapse ultimately a positive development for Coinbase? First of all, thank you for having me. Um, I think we have to dissect this situation into two phases. The first one is the near-term impact. The, the, the second one is the longer-term impact. I think in the near term, this is such an unfortunate, stunning situation. I don't think anybody benefits. I think the, the TAM could be shrinking in the near term. Uh, that said, longer term, I think investors will do more due diligence, customers will do more due diligence. That should benefit more regulated, more transparent platform like Coinbase. So I would say near term, it impacts everybody. Longer term, Coinbase could benefit from that. And what do you make of the job cuts that were uh, had about 60 of them at Coinbase? They say it's isolated and targeted. Yeah, I, from what I've heard from uh, Brian Armstrong, it was because they don't expect the hiring would kind of ramp up next year. So they cut uh, some of the people in uh, the, that department. And also the other one, I think it's institutional onboarding department. They cut some people there, even though they still have a pretty strong pipeline. But a lot of, a lot of the onboarding uh, process are automated already. So that's why they don't need that 60 people. But I think in a grand scheme of things, uh, this, the company will keep monitoring the situation. I do believe if, if the situation deteriorates, uh, Coinbase would take further actions on that. Oh, and I, I, I'm trying still to grapple this idea that that somehow Coinbase will benefit from an FTX's demise because the the kind of trader that was on FTX wasn't the same kind of trader on Coinbase. First of all, for for a couple of reasons. First of all, FTX primarily uh, operated outside the United States. Uh, Coinbase operates in the United States. Second of all, it's a, you were using FTX in a lot of ways to to leverage and to take on these uh, perpetual futures, et cetera, and do things that you weren't doing on Coinbase necessarily. So how, how is it that Coinbase will benefit from it and not Binance? That's a good question. From what I have observed so far, um, you have FTX US. So uh, Coinbase can and most likely uh, can capture the market shares within the United States. Outside of the United States, you're right, Coinbase does not have a huge presence. But I would say after this situation, liquidity crisis type of situation, or you can call it like when we see more information and we'll see whether this is Bernie Madoff moment or, or not. But Coinbase goal is to expand internationally. So uh, the next step is if they can expand to other countries and offer derivatives product, that would be the step to start taking shares from other more opaque platform internationally. So I agree with you, maybe uh, in the first step before Coinbase can go international, Coinbase can capture the US market from FTX, US, uh, but longer term when Coinbase expand that, yeah, then they, would, they, can, they should be able to do that. I think the question is, though, are what are the longer term prospects for Coinbase? You know, Coinbase is sort of enjoying a little bump because of this news. But I mean, the reality is, is that none of this is good for the crypto market. And, you know, Coinbase's larger problem has always been that uh, a lot of their revenue has come from fees, transaction fees. And when there's not a lot of transactions, they don't get a lot of fees. And then it's bad news for them. Right. So I guess the question is, is like this little bump that we're seeing for Coinbase, like can this really last just in, in, in terms of the market sentiment that we are facing right now? Yeah, this is such a challenging situation for the whole industry. I, I totally agree with that. Uh, the point I try to make is uh, Coinbase try to run a more regulated platform. Um, they also try to diversify away from spot trading, and that's why they try to you know, launch derivatives product. They also diversify into staking and also interest income. If you look at uh, USDC market cap, it has been increasing from $42 billion to $44 billion over the, uh, uh, the, the last few days or so. So one big con contributor from, uh, for, to Coinbase revenue is actually interest income. So that could help 
uh, Coinbase longer term. The other one is Coinbase actually focused a lot more on the use cases like payment in stablecoin and uh, Coinbase Cloud and Coinbase Tracer, which is a data and analytics product. So I think longer term, Coinbase has the value proposition, has the wheel to develop more use cases outside of trading. So I also see that Kathy Woods' ARC has bought up about 238,000 more shares in Coinbase uh, amid this uh, bear market. Also, Oppenheimer stock is rating uh, on Coinbase is to outperform with a price target of $89. Uh, even though we're going through this uh, contagion effect in crypto, do you, you still think it's a, a good buy? So we actually custom cut our price target from $107 to $89. So to me, we are actually less optimistic uh, for the industry in the near term and also in the medium term. So, but longer term, I do think the focus on more use cases, the focus on utility, and we still believe uh, there's a difference between digital assets and blockchain. Even though we have some bad actors, but it does not represent the whole industry, and also, I do think there's nothing, still nothing wrong with the digital assets itself. It's more about human behavior. We can still leverage the blockchain technology to do other use cases like payments and remittance and some other stuff that could propel the next uh, I mean, blockchain adoption. So, uh, Owen, it looked like when they, they gained a little bit on that interest income, it's primarily because of the increase in interest rates in the United States. That helped it. Uh, the other thing, though, is that you, you also noted uh, previously uh, deals such as what they had had with Google. Uh, you saw that as a potential, uh, maybe not a, if not a game changer, or something that changes this whole uh, a, a approach to crypto. Does that change now with FTX's demise that the institutions might step back from trying to adopt crypto for the at near term at the very least? Does that affect Coinbase at all? It will affect Coinbase and the whole industry. And from what I've heard so far, if you are still in the ecosystem, many of them still want to stay within the ecosystem. I won't be surprised to see some of them will leave permanently because they are they, they get burned. For people who are sitting on the sidelines, they will sit the sidelines maybe longer. They may, you know, before they may think about 12 months of getting in, now they may wait for like 24 months or 36 months. So I think that's okay. the impact, that's the setback the industry has to deal with. So right. um, I don't disagree with you on that front.